Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this exercise, we'll be learning about creating data shortcuts in Civil 3D. Let's get started. In this exercise, you'll create data shortcuts from the objects in a drawing. The data shortcuts will be available to reference into other drawings. Now note that this exercise uses the Project Management-1 drawing with the modifications you made from the previous exercise. Let's first go ahead and save the source drawing with the project. First, go ahead and click on the big C, click Save As, navigate to your Civil 3D Projects folder, Tutorial Data Shortcuts Project, and then Source Drawings. Go ahead and save in this directory. Now note that source drawings that contain objects that are referenced in other drawings should be saved with the Data Shortcuts project. So let's begin by creating data shortcuts. Go up to the Manage tab, then go to the Data Shortcuts panel, and then click Create Data Shortcuts. Now note that as best practice, each one of these objects should reside in a separate drawing. To save time in this exercise, all the referenced objects are in the current drawing. Now in the Create Data Shortcuts dialog box, go ahead and check the following boxes. Click Surfaces and Alignments. This action selects the existing surface, as you can see right here, and both alignments that are currently within the drawing. Click OK. Now that the data shortcuts have been created, as you can see right here, the current drawing is associated with the Data Shortcuts project. Notice that in the Civil 3D title bar, the Tutorial Data Shortcuts project is displayed after the drawing name. Examine the Data Shortcuts project. Notice the Data Shortcuts have been created for the objects you selected. In the next exercise, you'll reference these objects in another drawing. Now using Windows Explorer, Go ahead and navigate to the Civil 3D Projects folder. Go into your Shortcuts project. And you can see if you double click on Shortcuts, now when you go into the Alignments folder, you'll see this folder contains an XML file for each alignment in the source drawing. The XML file identifies the path to the drawing that contains the alignment. Now you'll notice the same thing going on when we look in our surfaces. This is also an XML document. Now again, you'll see if we double click on the source drawings folder, this folder contains the source drawing. The source drawings should always be saved with the data shortcut project. In a real project, you would save the drawings that contain each object in the subfolders. While it's useful to know that the data shortcut XML files exist, you do not work directly with them in a normal data referencing operation. Management of data references is done in a tool space on the Prospector tab. So that's how you go about creating data shortcuts in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.